Welcome everyone. Today we're doing a little bit something different. We're at an 1824 jail, well, it's Ruthin jail, and we're going to be doing a bit of a walk around, see what it's like, and possibly going to be back here in the future doing a panel investigation. So we've just got here now, walked into the first room, and we're just going to have a, have a nosy round and check out some interesting artifacts. So, but apparently this is like supposed to be like horrifically haunted in it. Um, I think most night of the TV series actually did um, an episode here as well, so... The guy on the front desk has just said to us as well that uh, an old member of staff got befriended by one of the ghosts here, but since she's left, they've not seen or heard anything of that particular ghost anymore, which is strange. Mm, so, you never know. Well, feels weird, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> What's this then? This is the prison clock. Uh, the long case clock made in around 1820, probably in Ruthin by a member of the Joyce family, well-known clockmakers from the town. The internal movement was made in Birmingham, but it would have been an assembly local. The face was altered much later, probably in the 1870s, with the marker's name being covered by the words HM Prisoner, Prison Ruthin. By that time, the clock would have been unfashionable and therefore suitable for use in the prison. It may have stood in the main cell block, striking out the hours which gave shape to the long prisoners' days. It's a bit weird, isn't it? Yeah. That's nice, aren't it? Yeah, pretty. Mm. So is this a random food and diets? Yeah, so anybody that was confined for seven days is the top one. Um, anybody that was in up to a month, prisoners exceeding a month, beyond the differences between the two or three, is that they got a pound of potatoes. <laughs> Madness, aren't it? Mm. Oh, and... Uh, in class three, so if you were staying more than a month, every Monday, Wednesday and Friday you could have a pound and a half of scouts. Scouts? Which is like a stew, like lop scouts. How is that? So it's all like lentils, potatoes and meats and stuff, all stewed in a pot. It's really nice, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> so would that be classed as like, would that be classed as your gruel and stuff? Or? No, gruel is your uh, oatmeal. It says here. Ingredients of gruel and scalps. Mm. Is, that, is that supposed to be sweet potato? These were actual prisoners. Kind of looks like him. So he was committed on the 17th of July 1869 for shop breaking and stealing. <laughs> Shot breaking and stealing. Yeah, he was sentenced to five years. Well there, I do. Yeah. That this day and age, what you get? You probably probably get like not even a year. House breaking. That was him. He was sentenced to six months hard labour. Was it? Yeah. Yeah. He was convicted of larceny. Larceny, what's that now? No, I that's, I know that's, um, they still use that word larceny in America. He was only um, imprisoned for 14 days. 14 days? Yeah. Yeah, so I'm going to have to check out what larceny is now. But I know that is still a term they use in America. So I'd rather, to be fair, if I was to be convicted of the charges, I'd rather be this geezer. Just for the sheer fact he got six months <laughs> hard labour, but you know. Looks semi genuine, that one. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what just happened? On the wall, you can see some descriptions of the food that was cooked here. It wasn't tasty, but it provided the prisoners with a good raise of diet. Opposite the doorway where the cat sleeps, if you look down, you can see the well now covered over, which it observed as the prison's water supply. Meat was scarce here, and prisoners were given different diets according to their sentences. They were got bread and gruel. So yeah, that's the uh, so that's where they used to get the water from then. 
Yeah, the, the water from for the whole prison. I'm sure it's uh, sure it's not Evian. Water. The original stairs to the ground level. Yeah. How crazy is that? <laughs> cool. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it was on bricks. Yeah. There it is, Nora. It's like porcelain, isn't it? It's um, porcelain on top of concrete. Yeah. Yeah. Weird, that, isn't it? Do all the raids these now? I know. I mean, can you imagine chilling at home with one of these? <laughs> it'd be quite, I think it'd be quite good actually. Yeah. Lift yeah. the flap and smell. <laughs> oh, you can just smell it. What does it smell like? It's the soap. <laughs> Shall we, uh, should we smell the soap? Does that actually smell like soap? Yeah. Yeah, it smells nasty now. <laughs> Just over five, five four. He's sort of like five foot nine. Strange. Last time I checked, it was five four. How can you be five four? Five four, four you're bigger than me. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, maybe it was like a couple of years ago. Maybe you were looking at eye level and thought. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably what yeah, you've probably, done. Yeah, probably. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, Right, this is this. What says this was made of bone? I found Sally. Oh, yeah. You have found Sally. Calm down, Sally. <laughs> Calm down. That was a prison skate, bro. <laughs> right, we've got we've got some props here now. We've got we've even got ball and chain. <laughs> cool. <laughs> That's not gonna fit. It will. <laughs> Are you joking me? <laughs> Look at the state of that. Got no chance for them. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's for kids. <laughs> Getting off of the ball. Hmm. Or oh, it could be some next fashion. <laughs> Chain ball earrings. <laughs> that was a mirror. <laughs> this is a mirror. I can't really see it. I think it is for kids because. Yeah. Same as that. That explains the uh, height of the mirror, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Back to the trail. <laughs> what are you doing? You're not wearing that. What? <laughs> You're fucking joking, man. You can't walk around with that. <laughs> Can't walk around with that. <laughs> Apparently, these are typical handcuffs used to tie hands of prisoners in the 19th century. It's a restraint jacket. Oh, this is? Yeah. Oh, yeah, it is. Hmm. If you think, though, like you've got all the, the whole of this building, and you've got items like this, which were probably used. You know what I mean? Just thinking of the actual residual energy on, on the items itself. You never know, it could be this one, what's causing the hauntings. You know what I mean? Are these the skylights from the upper levels, you think? These, looking down. They're just like light holes, points. Let's have a look at these ones, anyway. <laughs> right, we've got a, a prison truncheon in. That's actually from the Amaris. Oh, is it? Yeah, it says there. But they would have used those here. 
Huh? No way. So what? <clears throat> Original keys from the 19th century. Right, what are these, the Scotch cars? Or a leather hood worn by prisoners as they exercised or they left their cells, for example, to go to the chapel or the infirmary. Sometimes these hoods were made of thick calico cloth. So I'm guessing with that, it's so you can't be recognised as you're going round? Yeah, maybe. To like stop communication yeah. between other people? So basically the guy was saying that you can't really see how because it's pitch black in there. They would have a lantern that was prepared though. Oh, is that it? To illuminate the corridor. Oh, right. And that's it, you can't, yeah. can't see that? No. Oh, yeah. Crazy. This is... Probably misses the smell of... What was it? Dirty washing? Dirty laundry. Yeah. So, that yeah, should be a smell. Rather fragrant and nice. Cheesy yeah, cheesy for you. It's actually yeah. cheesy for you. I'm not even bother sniffing that again. That is rank. So this... <laughs> no, wait, it's, a, it's an actual... Kodak. <laughs> it's dapper not for them uh, Kodak moments. Stay back. Right, that is literally retro. <laughs> Just spinning the iron. Is that what it is? Yeah, it is. And this is actually, what, well, this is wool, isn't it? Some sheep wool. That's uh, the old school spin me out business. And you put the old, get the bob on there. Yeah, and then catch and roll. Yeah, no way. So we got more. The whip. Ball and chains there, isn't it? <laughs> the whip, nice. I'm guessing it's definitely not for them kinky moments. <laughs> What's in Ruth in jail? Ruthin's first jail is believed to have been at the old courthouse which was built in 1404. Hmm. The building is now the National Westminster Bank. The first house of correction was built in 1654. So these are just facts. Yeah. Right, it says, yeah, labour as a form of work or punishment prisoners were made to turn out of, of a hand crank and sort of repetitive and meaningless, meaningless exercise. So yeah, it's... Adults had to, had to turn up to 14,480 revolutions a day. Yeah, but I would do Because there'd be somebody counting it. <laughs> <laughs> I would have a counter on it. The hand, the hand crank handle on the word one way and its counter could be reset to zero by ward as outside the cell. On some models, cup scoop sand from inside a box and carried it to the top of the crank wheel. <laughs> Just to make it a bit harder. Yeah. No way. So yeah, this is uh, what I'm doing right now. It's pretty damn pointless. <laughs> That's marvellous, isn't it? Warders were nicknamed screws, which they do still get called today. Like prison guards, is it? the screws. Yeah, because they adjusted the oh. weights or tightened the cogs. Jesus so Christ. that's where that nickname comes from. So, yeah, Sam's just uh, turned that and proved a point that he did absolutely nothing. <laughs> Many prisoners routinely spent a part of their sentence in solitary confinement in the dark cell. The cell had no window or lighting, and once inside, with the door tightly shut, it would have been um, what, almost, almost impossible to tell if it was day or night. Yeah, because in this one, they don't have the. Um, the areas for... No, they don't the window or anything. Is that a light switch? Alright, okay. 
I had to shut the door. <laughs> well, yeah, this is completely pitch black. Obviously, it would have been worse because you're not got the, uh, the actual light coming through the door, if you would you? No. But, uh, we are now walking around in pitch blackness. I don't know what it is. Every time we go somewhere, there's, th there's always them. Sam's always on them. <laughs> Aren't you? Yeah. Always on them. Right, uh, do we have to go? Do we have to go that way? Eh? Right. I just got an overwhelming rush of heat. Oh. This way. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want this, but I find that very uh, quite disturbing. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, okay, I actually wasn't expecting that. What did you expect to know? This place is massive. But yeah, this is, uh, Brighton is the scene, the modern cell here. <laughs> found, uh, found what? Caddy and Silly. Uh, calm down, calm down. Caddy means Tilly. Wow. Is it? Yeah. Alright, so I've just found the one that probably explains why it's had Jenny's own. <laughs> I'm liking the... The outfit. The fashion, that's it. Cool. I find it quite intriguing. Pajamas. Yeah. And they're cool then. Check these out, these are awesome. I'll we'll get some for Christmas. Awesome. Right, okay, this is the point of the munitions factory cell. Well, why, why would they be doing munitions in it? Um, Making during, munitions. During World War II, Ruffing Jail was used to help the vital war effort. It became a munitions factory. No way. So. <coughs> oh, wow, that's crazy. So I'm guessing this is well, obviously this is well after they shut the prison down and they've used it for, yeah. for this. You've got like buddy. Old casings. Oh, yeah, old casings there. And what's, what starts like a one or two that? Is it? What does it say on there? Yeah, that's pretty weird, isn't it? On the 17th of February 1903, William Hughes was hanged at Ruffin Jail and his body is buried in the grounds. He um, was done for murder um, of his wife. He discharged both barrels into her body. The gun had been fired at such close range that the clothing of the woman caught fire and her body was charged. Yeah. He was a condemned man. So this is obviously... What was it? William Hughes, was it? Yeah. So this would have probably been the place that he, I don't know, come to get his last blessing kind of thing. You've just compacted everything into him. Hey, look at that. Okay. Face detection's just come on. Come here. Oh, it's gone. This is where you felt the thingy as well. Yeah. The heat spot. Yeah. 
You know what I mean? It doesn't come off enough in that. <laughs> That's a bit weird. The face detection has just come on there and the last time this happens is when we're doing investigations. Oh, weird's that? And as Sam was saying as well, it's where she started feeling that weird heat spot as well, didn't you, as soon as we come out of the cell, so. And it's, it's not warm in here, it's cold. No, it's cold. Yeah. And literally, I felt like I was being baked by the sun. Strange. Could possibly be his life or something. Well, no. No, it's not. I'm giving up. I was here when it happened. So, what's this then? Maybe it's where they would have hooked prisoners on. Unless this is the original floor and it tiled over it. Possibly, yeah. Don't think it says, does it? Yeah. Hmm. Prison to be closed. 1916. When was the actual date of closing? I'm just trying to find it now. Life like artificial teeth. <laughs> Williams Dental Institute. Painless extractions. Yeah, yeah. New local anaesthetic. Teeth repairs done in two hours. Wow, well, not much has changed. No. <laughs> Here, now this, this is the um, this is the site of the of the execution. Ah, that lintel yeah. marks the door, and as you can see underneath it, the stones are all different sizes. Yeah, yeah. So that would have come probably down to where you can see this. Um, you see there, you can see the mortar's different. Yeah. It's, it's yeah. straighter. I would imagine it's to there. It looks as if there's something in there. There's some tiny stones. Yeah. It's yeah, probably it's come cool. down to there, and the scaffold would have been built up the side. Wow. How far down the ground was, yeah. I'm not sure. But the floor went to the cell. He walked out onto the scaffold, and then, and then he came down to here. So that's well, awful. Uh, so it's not like the Morris where you get walked out and you walk no, down. No, it was, no, it it's in one, no. your it was cell. In oh, yeah, you're in. And so no anybody who ever said that they saw the hanging, no property can see no. into no. this yard. Anybody who says they got on the wall to see it is a liar. That's a liar. <laughs> because all this was covered round. Yeah. No way. And he dropped and then they came into the bottom part to sort of get him down and... He'll check his symptoms, the breathing and all the rest yeah. of it to confirm he was dead. And that was it. And then they blocked both Locked walls up again. That's strange, isn't it? So what, why not actually just take, take him out the grounds into the forecourt and then do it? It's just, it just seems so a bit... All the, the, the hangings then had to be done where nobody could see them. Yeah. Ah. Uh, right. Public hangings ended, ended in the 1820s. Mm. So any hanging after that had to be done in the privacy of the jail. Yeah. And the body would be buried on the jail premises, which is what happened to him. But it was dug up probably in wartime, I think. Yeah. And then reinterred somewhere in the patch of the plenty. No way. Because criminals, when they were hanged, were not supposed to be buried on uh, Howard turf, mm. shall we say. Yeah. So, yeah, that was uh, a bit of a private tour at the end. It was quite good, that. I really enjoyed it. Very factual. I don't think it was going to be too too overly factual no he knew his stuff didn't he yeah he knew his stuff it was quite quite good but there's some I don't know it's, it's a weird place isn't it I didn't really get too too much feelings there to be fair I mean you said you felt something but I reckon we should definitely get that box in for an investigation there 100% yeah. so but yeah but it's decent thing to take as well wouldn't it like, yeah, I was guessing really a nice. bit of a private so you know <laughs> But anyway, if you've liked the video, give it a like. Don't forget to comment and subscribe. We'll see you guys in the next video. See you in a bit.